if you are in France and you are considering investing in the U.S. real estate market, you ain't alone. There's not a lot of you folks out there, but uh, there are some of you who are considering doing this. One of you I've been working with for quite some time, his name is Radu, and today I'm going to help my guy Radu look at a property that's going to cost less than 40 k and kick off 30 Gs a year in rental income, folks. So all of my French natives thinking about getting in the U.S. real estate, pay attention to what me and Radu are doing, and then reach out to my team after this video if you'd like us to do the same for you. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. What's up, y'all? Let's get into the meat and taters, baby. That's what we're going to do. Look at this bad boy, right? Look at this thing. That's a handsome property, right? That's a nice-looking apartment building. That is a three-unit apartment building, and that three-unit apartment building is going to kick off. A lot of cash for y'all, right? Check this, okay? Look at that rent roll. $850, $850, $850. That's $2,550, $30,600, right? The address, see it right there, 1601 Grafton, Elyria, Ohio, 44035. Now, before y'all get too juicy, too excited, let me... Let me calm your titties a little bit, folks. We got to get you a little bit back down to earth here. Here's the deal. That rent roll, that is market rents. Currently, it's being rented under market rent at seven and a quarter, six hundred and six seventy five. But the market rents here in 2022 for a property like this, a triplex in Elyria, Ohio, are going to be what you see on the screen. Now, let's talk Elyria, Ohio, okay? A lot of y'all probably never heard of Elyria, Ohio. As a matter of fact, why we talk about Elyria, Ohio, why don't we just cruise through these photos, right? Let's cruise through these things, okay? So Elyria, Ohio, as you guys are checking out this cool little property, nice little three-car garage, right? Elyria, Ohio is like west of Cleveland, right? I'm sure you've all heard of the Cleveland market, right? The Cleveland market. Everybody's like, Cleveland, 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 right? It's one of the most popular cash flow markets in the USA. We're about 30 minutes west, and I actually like Elyria for investors uh, more than the actual city of Cleveland, right? Holton Wise, we operate in the greater Cleveland area. I've sold $200 million worth of real estate in the area. We do the property management, the maintenance, the construction for you, right? So the whole stuff, the whole kit and caboodle, it's all taken care of, right? So that's why we get people People watching the show from L.A., people watching the show from New York, from New Jersey, right? People from all over, right? I got people as far away as Germany investing with us here in properties like this one in Elyria, Ohio, right? I'm pretty sure the majority of the population of Germany has never heard of Elyria, Ohio, right? Uh, but a lot of people have heard about the Cleveland market. This is in the Cleveland market, but the greater market, it's like four or five million people, okay? The city of Cleveland itself is only like 350,000. So the actual city of Cleveland is just a small piece of the overall pie, right? Uh, so Lyria is actually better for investors, in my opinion, for a couple of reasons. One, uh, tax rate lower. Two, price points are lower. Three, government is easier to deal with. They are more landlord-friendly. And then a bonus is over there in uh, Lorraine County, that area, the general area surrounding this particular property, uh, surrounding this uh, very average looking uh, hallway that you see here is getting two military bases. OK, what that's going to do is bring a ton of jobs. Right. So if 2022 wasn't kind enough to us investors with the high demand of rentals, it's going to get even higher in this particular area. Now, this particular tenant, holy moly, they are not moving out anytime soon, I don't think. They are set up here for the long haul, bro. They got that little jungle, little fish. Man, look at this fish. Dude, look at this guy. It's a, that's a monster right there. Look at that thing, dude. That's like a freaking... You could fillet that some... Anyway, well, let's just keep moving here, right? So you got the tenants. This is what your lower-income tenants are going to look like, right? I get a lot of people that start investing in real estate, and, and they're, they're expecting it to be fancy. It's really not fancy. This is what we're doing here, right? Because the price points are insane, right? This particular property, they're only asking 155000 for it, right? 155000 and you get three tenants. Let's bring up that rent roll again, right? Look at that. All we got to do is take the uh, 
<clears throat> take the current tenants, right? You gotta take the current tenants, just to increase their rents tiny amounts up to market rent. Twenty five fifty, thirty thousand six hundred for the entire year. You saw all those plants and all that stuff, that big fish tank. That chick ain't moving out, dude. You give her a little tiny rent increase, she don't wanna go anywhere. She is set up for the long haul, right? So thirty thousand six hundred dollars. I believe I can get the asking price from 155 down to 150 for you. And if you want to know how much money that's going to make you, you better stick around after this. At Holton Wise, we help people achieve financial freedom through passive real estate investments. We provide a complete set of turnkey real estate services, including property acquisition, property management, home renovation, and much more. But most importantly, at Holton Wise, it's all about our people first culture. We put people over profits. Simply put, at Holton Wise, we care. I like working at Holton Wise because it's really for the people and the culture. When I'm here, I feel like I can work as myself. I run Holton Wise like an open book. If anybody has any questions about what we do or how we do it, we got nothing to hide here at Holton Wise. We do what we say we're gonna do, and then we do it. This place is really for the community. We buy houses, we sell houses, we rent houses, we do it all. My leadership style at Holton Wise, it's all about leading by example. I want to show people that even in a stressful business like real estate investment, we always need to keep our cool and act professional. I love working with James and in my position, I get to work with James one-on-one -on -one every single day. James is a people pleaser, he's a people person, he's a real philanthropist. They don't tear you down at Holton Wise, it's all about building people up. What the are you two lazy pieces of doing in here, huh? Always, always, always just sitting on your <laughs> never doing any work. Do you want me to <laughs> place you girls with <laughs> Rover? Is that what you want? Even in my position, it can be very stressful dealing with tenants. That's why James always makes sure that my head is in a great place. When making mistakes at Holton Wise, they don't get angry, they don't get mad, they don't yell at you. They just give you a gentle nudge in the right direction. It's the professionalism. You know, nothing too crazy happens at the office. Everything's pretty low key. From the moment I started working with Holton Wise, it was clear to me that I wasn't just another customer. I was like family. I think good leaders ask, how can we increase the bottom line? How can we increase profitability? But here, I want to be a great leader. And what great leaders ask is how can I serve my employees, my customers, my people, the community? All right, folks, welcome back. Thank you for... Uh taking a gander at that that's just how we operate things here at the Holton Wise right so as you can see I'm a pretty cool pretty cool guy to work for man you work with me it's like I'm cool as a cucumber you know what I'm saying now I told y'all all y'all that stuck around I would go over how much money this is gonna make but before I do that before I get off this picture here I just want to take you guys' attention to these things right here, man. These are some high-ticket items, right? See that furnace, dude? That's like a brand-new furnace. I don't know if it's exactly brand-new, but it's darn close. And you know what? That is awesome because those things cost about $3,500 to replace, and they last about 30 years, right? Hot water tanks cost about $1,200, last about fifteen. dollars I say that to you because it's important because right now I'm going to tell you how much I think this property is going to make for you, right? So market rent. 30600 for the year, and as you see on the chart, I got all your fixed and variable expense estimate projections on the screen, right? And uh, capital expenditures, right? 1530 It's not like you're spending 1530 every year. What that is is I'm taking 
large, big-ticket items, like a furnace, for instance, right? At one point, the year you're going to replace it, boom, you're dropping 3500 Likewise, at one point, you're going to replace a roof, right? A roof's going to be like 10 Gs on a property like this, right? So we break that down and average it out for you so you guys can get a true understanding of what this property is really going to produce for you, right? Because some people will just tell you, like, oh, dude! You're going to make 30 grand a year, but you're not, right? Because you got all these things you got to factor in. So in reality, you should be on average kicking off around 16 grand a year in profit on a house like this, right? And then you go in and finance that sucker, right? You put down 37 and a half, bank kicks in 112 and a half. That should project out to a long-term cash on cash return of around 26% assuming we can get your tenants up to market rent, the market rents they gave you. They're a little bit lower right now, but we just give them a little bit of rental increases, as I said. To me, these tenants, they don't appear to be tenants that want to move out anytime soon. But hey, if you do have somebody move out, that's just part of the game, right? Uh, you can't invest in real estate. You can't invest in these you know, mid to low income properties and assume your tenants are going to live there for 30 years. If they planned on living there for 30 years, they probably have just bought a house. You know what I'm saying? So by the nature of the beast, uh, multifamily investors, you need to understand and your tenants are a little transient, but it's okay because if we go back to the chart, you see your vacancy and non-payment of rent, right? I've already factored that in, right? Fifteen thirty a year on average, right? When people move out every couple of years or so, you got to do a little bit of work. You don't get rent the months they're gone, obviously, until we get a new tenant. So I factored that in, right? It's not my, uh, you know first uh, rodeo, so to speak, right? That's just how the cookie crumbles in the jungle, though, folks. That's why we break this stuff down for you, right? So assuming you get them up without having to do an unnecessary turn, like I said, you're looking at around 26% cash on cash return uh, projection. If you got to do a turn, you're probably looking at like four or five grand a unit uh, after they move out. It's kind of hard to exactly pinpoint how much it'll be because you don't know what they're going to leave it like. But the kitchens and the baths and everything looked pretty good to me. I just think you're going to be probably repainting the entire unit, maybe patching some holes, fixing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But, you know, no big deal, right? When you get people living in a unit for four, five, six, seven years, right? There's going to be some wear and tear that you as the landlord got to pay for. Uh, that's just how it goes. But all told, the numbers on this just make sense, folks. So let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.